Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken and I'm excited today guys because I've got some subscriber mail to unbox. I've got some new pickups uh, that I'm going to go through with you guys. And yeah, just uh, I'm going to go through some of the stuff that I picked up this week and then we're going to do the subscriber unboxing. I got two things in uh, my mailbox today, so I'm excited to get into it. Before I do that, guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Middle of Media channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. I do all kinds of physical media content on this channel. Also, like this video, comment down below, whatever you want to comment. I don't care. Comment down below. It's awesome when you do and I appreciate it. Turn on the bell notifications and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get into... Uh, my pickups for the week. I, I didn't necessarily pick up a lot of stuff, but I do want to start doing like more of these types of videos and just kind of letting you all know like what I got in the mail and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start doing that. But I did get the Godfather trilogy in this week, obviously. I already should have a review up on the channel for this uh, right now as this goes up. Uh, so go check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, this is definitely the release of the week, the month, the year. Um, and yeah, go check out my, my thoughts on this because I, I think they, they should be pretty interesting. They should be pretty interesting. So go check it out if you haven't already. I'll, I'll link the review down below. Also, uh, I ordered Dreamscape for 1984 month. I got this Shout Factory version with the slipcover, which was super cool. I was so stoked to get it with the slipcover. Uh, you don't always get that, especially when you order from Amazon. And I was excited to get it. I already have a review up for this on the channel as well. So if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. I'll link it down below for you guys but really enjoyed this one so yeah go check out that review for 1984 month and here's the two new titles that i picked up this week that i haven't really got a chance to show off on the channel yet and the first one is a new criterion title that i'm excited to get into and i'm hoping to get a review for up sometime next week um and that is the flight of the phoenix so this is a film starring james stewart and i know this had a remake with uh dennis quaid who's right here in this uh, in this movie. I'm pretty sure it was Dennis Quaid, but um, I'm excited to get into this. It's an older James Stewart, and I love the artwork on this. That's why I went ahead and get it. I didn't wait for the sale or anything. But what's really cool about this is I've already opened this up, but I have to show this to you guys real quick. A um, little bit of an unboxing here, but you open it up, and there is a little thing in here to make a paper airplane. Um, so yeah, you can like punch these out and you can make a little paper airplane and maybe i'll do that when i do the review maybe i'll you know maybe we'll fly a paper airplane outside or something i don't know but i just thought that was super cool you don't really see criterion do uh this kind of stuff especially not in their like regular case releases like sometimes you might see it in a digi book or whatever but i don't know i just thought it was really neat let me know in the comment section below if you've ever seen criterion uh, do this before in any of their other releases. I just I thought it was pretty damn awesome um, But then you also got this this booklet in here. It's a small booklet. It's nothing too big or fancy Actually, it's a pamphlet a little like brochure thing, but I'll show it off to you guys And yeah, I'm excited to watch this one. I'm excited to watch it. Hopefully I'll have like a review up on the channel for it and then right there you got some you got some uh, disc arc or, you know, the disc is just colored. And then we'll take that out and you just have the, yeah, the desert. I, so I guess this is like a, a movie where they like crash land in the desert and they have to try to find their way out. And I'm sure they're running out of water and all that kind of stuff. Again, I, I haven't seen the remake or the original, so I'm excited to watch. But yeah, that paper airplane, man, it just, it really got me when I opened it. I was like, that is so cool. Uh, that is so freaking cool. But all right, let's get into the next thing. The last thing that I picked up myself and then we'll get to the subscriber unboxing. And that is the West Side Story Target exclusive. Every single time I get these Target exclusives, I'm like, why do I keep getting these? Because they're so lazy now, like I talked about, you know, in my 4K collection video. But it, it's just a 4K case inside with some cards. But I continue to get them because uh, the cover art always sells me. Like, I love this cover art. I love the cover art for Eternal. So if it's good cover art, I'll still get them. Because, um, you know, it's like having a, a good slip cover on it. So uh, just a variation, casing variation. But they used to do so much better with these exclusives at Target. I, I wish that they would get back to that. Um, but let's see. Let's take this out. But yeah, I went to Target. Again, I stopped doing the Blu-ray hunts, the Tuesday Blues Day hunts. And I didn't expect it to be in stores last week. That's why I didn't go out. So I went out randomly today with my wife. 
we had lunch and then we went to Target and I went over there. I was like, I'm gonna see if this Target exclusive is there. And it was there, so I went and grabbed it. Uh, it was $35, so again, really pricey for, you know, not being of the old kind of Target exclusives that they used to have, not being like the old ones that they had. Uh, those felt like they were definitely more worth it. But look at this artwork, it is crazy good. I love the artwork on this. I'll show you all the spine as well. Um, trying to get it for you guys to see better, but look at the back. That's amazing. I have not seen this movie yet, but I'm excited to finally get to watch it when you take it out of the case. And it's just a 4k case with the regular poster art. And then I'll show you all the back right there. So cool stuff. I, I like this and I'll take the digital code out. Cause I'll probably end up giving that away at the, at the next round table. And then you got some cool disc art on there. So yeah, I'm excited to watch this one. I might give it a watch pretty soon. Um, you know, hopefully pretty soon before the round table so I could talk about it a little bit more. Um, and yeah, we'll take out some of this stuff. I'll show you this inside real quick. You got both the stars of the movie. I know one of them's uh, Baby Driver, Ansel Elgort. And then inside, um, I don't know what this is, but again, more punchable stuff that you can punch out. Again, I don't, I don't know if this is like a stand because these look like, I mean, these are actually pretty cool. They don't feel cheap like some of the other cards in the Target exclusives. Um, they're almost like little pieces of art or something. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Let me see. Two limited edition foil etched prints. Okay, so they're foil etched prints. And I imagine that you fold this out and then you can, um, I'm trying to work this out right here on air with you guys. Uh, so yeah, it's something, it's some kind of deal where you fold this out and then you can like, you know, display it or whatever. But, um, I guess it's pretty cool. I guess it's pretty cool. So put all this stuff back in and then we'll, we'll get into the subscriber stuff. Cause I'm excited. I, Cause you know, with this stuff, you know, I know what it is. I'm just kind of going through it with you guys, but that stuff, the stuff I'm getting ready to go to, I don't know what it is. Uh, so I'm excited. I'm excited. So putting everything back where it's supposed to go and all right so we'll put this aside so these are my new pickups for the week very pricey when you look at them all together but again i think it doesn't feel like i got a whole lot but that's that's a lot of money that went into these releases that came out um okay so the first one we're going to get into is an amazon package and this is from my good friend brian huckabee and you guys might know him as huck pop culture cafe good friend of mine he's been on the channel and i need to have him back on soon i love the guy he's super awesome i love his channel he's got great energy to him and i will definitely link his channel uh down below as well but he sent me one item and i'm excited i know it's one item because he already told me uh but i'm excited to get into it because i don't know what it is what is it what is it what is, oh my goodness, man. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I did not get this, but I did want it. Uh, but it's a Robert Zemeckis film and it's What Lies Beneath. I've not seen this movie since like the early 2000s, like around the time when it came out. So I don't really remember it all that much. Uh, but man, thank you so much. Thank you. You really came through with this one because I did really want to order it. I almost thought about ordering it like a month ago and I didn't pull the trigger on it. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. You, you came through on this one. Thank you so much, uh, Huck, man. You are awesome. And let's see if there's anything else in here. It was like a package inside of a package. Extra protection. Extra protection. But yeah, thank you so much, man. I, I am truly excited about that. I feel like I might watch that pretty soon. Might even talk about it with you guys. And he, he wrote me a little note. And he actually has his logo. Uh, the people on, on YouTube are so... Uh, like they have it so together and I do not with like their logos and their branding and stuff. Um, but yeah, look right up there. Yeah. He has the logo of his channel on here. That's, that's super awesome. Uh, from the desk of Huck's pop culture cafe. He's a true showman, uh, with that, with that right there. Hey Ken, thank you for being such a pillar of coolness in our physical media community. I, I, if I'm the pillar of coolness and I, you know, you guys are in trouble. That's all I have to say. We're the most uncool group ever in the history of the world. If I'm the pillar of coolness in the physical media community. Uh, I appreciate everything you do, especially your physical media report. Uh, I wanted to give you this copy of the Harrison Ford, Michelle Pfeiffer film, What Lies Beneath. I hope you don't already have this. If you do, feel free to offer it to a subscriber during one of your giveaways. Keep it coming. Your old pal, Huck. Thank you so much, man. No, 
I don't have it. That's why I was so excited to get it because uh, it is one that I've been wanting. And I love Robert Zemeckis. He's such an underrated director. I talk about it all the time. And this is another movie that people seem to forget that he directed. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to get back into it because it's literally been like 20 years since I've watched the movie. All right, so let's get into this one because this box is massive and I have no idea what it is. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This is from Anthony Mastrani. Um, and he has sent me something before, but I really, I cannot remember what you sent me before, Anthony. I'm sorry that I don't, but I know you sent me something before. I feel like it was in the very first unboxing that I ever did. Um, but I'm excited to get into this one. This is a huge box. What could be inside of this? What could be inside of this? All right. Got a lot of bubbles. I'm going to throw these bubbles out. And yeah, he wrote me the same kind of notes because I remember that. I'm saving all the notes that I have. What is this thing? Hold on. Here is the set I said I would send you. I actually bought five. One for my brother, one for my best friend, and three for me trying to get pristine set. Ended up buying, uh, being a lost cause. Anyway, I love all your videos and humility is a breath of fresh air. Next month, I am sending you something that I know you'll really love and appreciate. All the best, Anthony Mastrati. I think I know what this is, and I'm going to pass out <laughs> if, if it actually is what I think it is. Um, I'm going to pass out like right here now, right in front of you guys. I got I to gotta take off the... Let me get this box off the table. Oh, Lord. I can, I can already see it. I can already see it. Man, you're, you're too kind. Like, seriously, like, this is too much. I, I appreciate this so much. Thank you, man. Um, and again, oh, my gosh. He got me the Rambo set, the, the Rambo Steelbook set. Look at this thing. I missed out on this. I would never grab it because I'm just so cheap. Uh, and every time I went to the store, it was like 90, 95. I was waiting for it to go down. And then I think it went down one time and I just didn't have the money for it. So I didn't get it. Um, and then I went in the next week and it was gone. So I just never got this. And oh my God, man, thank you so much. This is so awesome. Um, and yeah, I see where it's you know damaged a little bit. Um, so yeah, I, I really don't care. I have all kinds of that stuff in the collection. I'm, I'm so happy to get this. The, the steel books though, are, I'm sure are in pristine condition, but I will say the one time I unboxed that Lord of the Rings set that I got, somebody said that I wasn't a real collector because I had something that had a dent in it in my collection. And to that, I say, you're stupid. So <laughs> I'm just happy to have these movies. Um, first of all, if like all the movies are in 4k, I don't have one Rambo film in 4k i might i don't even think i have last blood in 4k i think i bought that one in blu-ray uh when it came out so i have all the rambo films in 4k now um just because it has a dent in the side doesn't mean that these are damaged and all the steel books i imagine are in immaculate condition that's really all i care about so yeah super awesome look at this oh my god that's the first rambo i'm excited i've only watched guys again more movies i haven't seen surprise surprise but i have only seen um I have only seen the first Rambo and I've seen the last Rambo. So I have not seen the three in the middle. So I'm excited to watch these. Look, look at that disc art. Oh my God. That is so, that's freaking awesome disc art. I'll definitely be giving away the, the codes of these at some point. And it looks like Sylvester Stallone wrote a little note too in this set. Uh, the last blood extended cut. I am the luckiest action actor to have gotten to play and write for this most incredible, um, I can't, uh, character, please enjoy this extended cut as much as I did playing the part Sylvester Stallone. Is this like in every set, Anthony, or did you actually get Stallone to write a note for you? Let me know um, in the comments section. That's that's freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. So that was First Blood, and this is First Blood Part 2. I remember when this was announced, I was like going through it, and I was like, oh my god, all these steelbooks are so beautiful. And I know the Hunger Games set just came out, so... Um, I'm not getting, again, I'm not a big fan of the Hunger Games, but those, those are so beautiful as well. So Lionsgate just kills it with these steel books. And right there, guys, that's the second rainbow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that discard. That discard's out of this world. Like Lionsgate kills the steel book game. Yeah, I can't wait, um, to watch some of these because again, I haven't seen some of them. That's rainbow three. And let's see, we'll unbox this. Discard's incredible. Incredible discard. 
All right, and this is the one from 2008. This is the one I know I need to watch. I've heard so many people say this is the most violent film they've ever seen in their life, so I'm excited to watch this one. Um, these steelbooks are really hard to open. I will say that. Really cool disc art. And then we'll show Last Blood. I liked Last Blood. Um, I do think it's kind of a mediocre movie until you get to like the last 30 minutes when they're all coming at his like little farmhouse. Um, and then it like turns into a legitimate badass action film. Um, but yeah, really cool image on that one. I love the image of him holding the bow and arrow. Awesome stuff, guys. Um, yeah, man, Anthony, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. I am truly, truly excited by some of the stuff that I just got. So Huck, man, thank you for what lies beneath. I know that, um, you know, you had to come before this. But it's, they're both awesome, and I'm so excited to have both of these in my collection. So thank you all so much. And thank you all for watching. Like I said, comment down below anything you want to comment about um, either one of these. You know, Do you want to see reviews for anything that I've unboxed today? What Lies Beneath, um, West Side Story, Flight of the Phoenix, any of the Rambo films? Do you want to hear my thoughts on any of them? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, turn on the bell notifications, and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are in the description, and we'll see you next time.